Hey guys, so if you're on this video, it's because you're having a little trouble calculating speed. So as we're starting this, make sure that you have a calculator out or up because that's going to be your most helpful thing. So let's start with question number one. What is the speed of a cheetah that travels 112 meters in four seconds? So we're using the equation speed equals distance over time. So if you're having trouble with this, I would recommend writing your equation each time. Okay. And here, our distance is meters. So we're going to put that on, t on top, 112 meters. And our time is seconds, four seconds. And we can abbreviate that. So now it comes time to divide. So I'm going to put this in my calculator. I'm going to go 112 divided by four. And that gives me an answer of 28. Now, I can't just leave that by itself, so I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to move it over. And it already set up my units for me. So that speed I was traveling, that cheetah was traveling 28 meters per second. Okay? Let's look at number two. Number two says a car travels 15 miles in the first 30 minutes, 20 miles in the next 30 minutes, and 50 miles in the last hour of the trip. What is the average speed the car travels during the whole trip? So in this case, we're looking for average speed. So that means I'm going to have total distance divided by total time. So you have to take all of them together. So our distances in this are 15 miles, 20 miles, and 50 miles. So what we would do is we would add those together. 15 plus 20 plus 50. So we're going to put that in the calculator. So we're going to go 15 plus 20 plus 50. Gives me a total of 85 miles. And our total on our times are 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and one hour. So what we also need to remember is that 30 minutes plus 30 minutes equals one hour. So that brings us to a total of two hours. So then we divide that. And that would give us 85 divided by 2. And we ended up with 42.5. Again, we just take our units and we move them over and that gives us miles per hour. Okay, number three. It says a runner travels two miles in the first 10 minutes and three miles in the next 20 minutes. What is the average speed of the runner in miles per hour? So this one's a little interesting. We can do it one of two ways. What we need to remember is that they're asking us to solve this in miles per hour. However, they gave us minutes. So we can do it the same way that we've been doing it before, where we say speed equals total distance over total time. In this case, our distance is two miles and three miles, which gives us a total of five miles. And our time is 10 minutes and 20 minutes with a total of 30 minutes. Okay, what we need to remember is that they're asking us to do this in miles per hour. So we can't use the 30 minutes, so we need to convert it. And most of us know that 30 minutes is equal to 0.5 hours or half an hour. So we can take that number and input it here. So we just need to remember that the 30 minutes is equal to 0.5 hours and we can input it in our equation the exact same way. So we're going to do that division. We're going to go 5 divided by 0.5 equals 10 and that gives us 10 miles per hour. Okay. The other way 
So the other way that we can do this is we can just remember that 30 minutes is half of an hour. So that means there's two 30 minutes in an hour. So if I can go five miles in 30 minutes, I can probably go twice as, uh, twice as, as that in one hour. So I would just do five times two and that would get me there as well. But that's just a quick way of doing it. Okay, let's go to number four. It says using the graph calculate average speed. So if ever on a graph you see a straight line, that means that they were moving at a constant speed the entire time. So we can take any point on this line in order to get average speed. So same thing, we're using speed equals distance over time. Now, if they're asking for average speed, I would recommend using the last point. Just to make sure in case there's some wavering around. So in this case, this is our last point. Our distance here, if we follow it over, is 50 meters. So we're going to plug that in the exact same way. And our time, if we come down here, is 25 minutes. So then we just divide there. And that brings us to 50 divided by 25 equals 2. And again, we just move our units over, and that's 2 meters per minute. Now, what's kind of cool about a straight line on a speed graph is that any point that you pick is going to get you the same speed because we can see that a straight line shows a constant speed. So if we do the same thing for any other point, it will get the same answer. So let's say you decided to pick a low point because you wanted easy numbers. If I come over here, my distance at this point was 10 meters. And I come down here, it's 5 minutes. 10 divided by 5, again, is 2 meters per minute. Okay? So, if you're still having trouble with speed, come see me in tutoring. But after that, go ahead and get started on the rest of your assignment. Good luck!